you don't need antivirus, this is Linux, right? No, you're wrong. <laughs> Sorry. So many people believe that, so many people say that, I just don't understand it. Um, viruses can infect Linux, viruses can infect Windows, it just depends on who wrote it, how they wrote it, right? I will say that most viruses are crafted or are designed to target Windows operating systems. Uh, that's for mainly one reason, the vast majority of the market share is Windows. However, you can get infected on Linux too. So today I'm going to walk you through a very simple process of how to install antivirus for free on your Linux operating system. Today guys, we are using a beautiful operating system. This is called Zorin OS. If you've never seen it, I encourage you to check it out. This is an Ubuntu based operating system and Ubuntu of course is based off of Debian. So not only is this beautiful, aesthetically pleasing, but it's solid. Uh, Debian's been around forever, compatible with all kinds of hardware, software, etc, etc. Alright, so first thing we're going to do guys is we're going to log into our operating system. We're going to launch a terminal. And let me zoom this in for you guys. And it's very easy. We're going to run a sudo apt. apt is our advanced package tool, which is the underlying package manager for Debian, Ubuntu-based operating systems. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're going to run a sudo apt update. Just make sure all our packages are up to date. And then we are going to install um, our antivirus solution. If you guys are familiar with AV and Linux, you've probably heard of Clam AV. It's one of the most popular ones out there. Uh, so we're just going to install that by doing sudo apt install clam AV. And to get the GUI with it, which you're definitely going to want, I'm going to talk about why in a second, um, follow the clam AV with space clam TK. All right, guys, so that's it. You're done. <laughs> that's literally it. Now, a little history. Back in the day, um, when I used to work with Clam AV a long time ago, you had to run commands to get this thing kind of to do what you wanted. For example, to kick off a uh, virus update or a definition update, you would do sudo fresh clam, which is one of those commands that kind of sticks with you because it's cool, fresh clam, right? Uh, if we run that now, I bet we're going to get an error about the log file because chances are this process is already running in the background. Yep, just what I expected. Um, the dot log file is locked by another process. That's because the system CTL or the the system in the background is actually already running a virus definition update, so it's running fresh clam in the background. And then another thing that was a pain in the butt back in the day. Uh, it felt cool when you did it, right? Because anytime you know commands in Linux, I, I don't know why, it just makes me feel cool. <laughs> I'm just that much of a nerd, I guess. But you would have to create a bash script that would scan whatever directory that you told it to scan. Um, you could do recursive commands, things like that. And then you would have to make that bash script executable by doing a chmod, plus x, you know, all that good stuff. And then you'd have to add a line to your cron tab so that it would run on a schedule. Um, so it worked, like you could get it to work and you could pipe that all out to a log file and see what happened when it was running scans and things like that. But now uh, with the Clam TK or the graphical user interface, this is, I mean, as easy as it gets. <laughs> so here's our, um, here's our UI for Clam, Clam AV or Clam TK. We have our settings, we have our whitelist, we have our network, we have our schedule right there, right? <laughs> So you can schedule uh, scans, and then you can schedule your signature updates. So this is pretty cool. You can say, hey, I want to do this. Select the time to update your signatures. You want to do it at 1 o'clock in the morning, and maybe I want to run my scans at 3 o'clock in the morning. Done. <laughs> so this is super easy. Uh, this will show you the history. So when it runs its scans, after it runs the first one, you'd have a history of what it found. You could view that, you could print that, you could delete the logs if you want, probably if you're doing something nefarious there. Um, so that's it, guys. You are now protected with antivirus on your Linux solution. Uh, again, this is a um, very popular antivirus solution for the uh, Linux community. It's been around a long time. It's come a long way too. I mean, now you have an analysis tool. You can scan a specific directory, scan a file. This used to all be command line back in the day when I was using it. Um, you can run updates here. 
basically everything your um, very basic antivirus on a Windows machine would do. And this is really, I won't say all you need, but this is a very good step forward if you have nothing, if you're just running out there butt naked in Linux. <laughs> this is a nice little layer of protection to add to your Linux operating system. What do you guys think? Are you using Clam? Uh, are you running Linux? What's your go-to Linux operating system? Uh, I guess to dovetail off that question, what's your go-to recommendation for Linux operating systems for users that grew up on Windows? So if you have a friend that's, you know, just all they use is Windows and you're talking about Linux and they have no idea what the hell you're talking about, what recommendations do you give them to get started with Linux? You probably shouldn't be throwing them into Arc. You wouldn't do that, would you? <laughs> you don't want to throw them straight into Arc, man. That's messed up. No, I'm kidding. But, um... Yeah, what do you what do you tell your um, noobs in Linux to test out? Is it Linux Mint? Is it Zorin? Is it Ubuntu? Is it something totally different? Let me know. Zorin is a beautiful operating system, like I said, and this is included on several of my USBs. I have this on the Linux Lovers Library. I have this on the Ultimate. I have this on the Ultimate V2, which is the greatest USB on the planet, guys. If you haven't checked out my USBs, head over to bootableusbs.com. Pick one up today. I'll ship it out tomorrow. Uh, you can run a lot of these operating systems, these uh, Linux operating systems, live on the USB, and you don't need to install anything. And then I've added Persistence, which allows you to save your work. So like we just did here, you can install Clam AV and you know, shut it down, shut your, or unplug your USB, plug it in somewhere else, and guess what? You still have Clam AV. You have all your work with you saved as if it was a fully installed operating system, but it's just a live operating system with persistence, so you get the best of both worlds. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you how you can easily install antivirus on your Linux operating systems, and you can open the graphical user interface for Clam AV, um, you can set your schedule for scanning, you can set your schedule for updating your virus definitions, and you can even target specific files, directories, run analysis tools, look at your quarantine, all that good stuff. So Linux has come a long way, right? And now we have beautiful UI-based tools that people are used to. Uh, no more needing to memorize a million commands, even though I still think it's awesome if you know all the commands. All right, guys. Appreciate you sticking around to the end of the video. If you did find any value in this, please hit the thumbs up button. Guys, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. I'm working to get to 10,000 this year. Uh, we're doing a good job, but we need to get more on a um, on a daily basis. I'm just looking at my trends. I'll, I will fall short if I don't pick it up. So, I mean, I'm going to do all the work here, make all the videos. Please do your part and hit subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for all your support. Like I said, if you want to support the channel, consider checking out my shop at bootableusbs.com. Some really good stuff there. Pick it up today. I'll ship it out tomorrow. Hope you all have a great day. Uh, don't forget to install antivirus on your Linux operating systems. I don't want to see you guys running around butt naked out there. Uh, it's just, you know, no one wants to see that. <laughs> have a great day, guys. Till the next one. Take care.